All right. Good evening, everybody. Uh, it's finally time. It is time to be in our second Breakers Club of 2021. And I am super excited to get going on this. We have an awesome, awesome assortment of boxes that we're going to be ripping uh, over what I believe will be the next um, seven weeks. Uh, I tried to map out a plan for what boxes to do when. Uh, Probably going to do over seven weeks. Maybe I'll scrunch things down and do it over six weeks. So over the next six or seven weeks, we're going to we're gonna get through all of the boxes in the Breakers Club. Uh, we've got lots of variety, lots of different boxes, uh, really something for everyone, and really no further evidence of that than today because I put a poll out um, earlier today on the Facebook page as to what box people would like to see open first. And a bunch of boxes got uh, votes, but the winning vote uh, getter um, at least the last I had looked, was the box of 2015 Tops Finest. So we will open that tonight. And then I decided to also open uh, the box of the 94 Select. Um, this is a hobby exclusive box. And at the risk of uh, going too uh, crazy, I've actually split the giant box of Upper Deck Victory into six stacks uh, with six packs each because these have 13 cards per pack. Um, if I'm not mistaken, that's what the box said at least. So I figured it'd be a little bit much to do with the whole box at once. It's a huge, huge stack of cards. Uh, and I thought this might be a little bit more uh, palatable to split that one up. Again, that one's really for this, the, the team collectors just to get a bunch of base cards. And as usual, I have some extra bonus packs I'm throwing in. So for today, we've got a pack of 2006 top series two and an old school pack of 1989 tops so that's what we will be ripping uh happy to see some of you able to make it david good to see you wade jordan carrie carrie's gonna catch the replay not a problem carrie i understand uh, no no time is good for everybody um but that's why there's a replay so hopefully hopefully uh, you'll be able to catch that and we'll try to get you some cardinals today um since this is the first day of Breakers Club number two, um, I want to first quickly read down through the, the list of names of who has what, just because I feel like that's what I should do um, the first time I do a group break like this. So going down, we've got Andy Schaefer has the Braves, Shane Samuelson the Red Sox, Ben Martin the Cubs, Matt Stevens the White Sox, Marcus Scott Indians, Mark Brubaker the Astros, Ben Soman the Brewers, Brian O'Neill has the Twins, Brett Allen the Mets, Mitch Anglin the Athletics, David, Dave Peterson the Phillies, Wade Fisher Pirates, Rod Richards has the Padres, Nick Vosbrink has the Giants, Zach Gibbs has the Mariners, and Kerry has the Cardinals, as I said a moment ago. Daniel M. has the Nationals Expo slot. Uh, Jordan Schmidt has the Diamondbacks and Yankees. Ben Morris has the Rangers, Marlins, and Tigers. Not going to let any pledges go by this time. Uh, Adam Canninger has the Rays, Royals, and Rockies, uh, the Triple R's. Greg Gay has the Dodgers and Blue Jays. Uh, and then I claimed the Reds, and I also have the Orioles and Angels, the two teams that uh, apparently have no one that collects them because they were left uh, unclaimed even after price reductions. So uh, Orioles and Angels are also mine. Uh, that will... That's the, that's the roster. I want to, uh, before we start ripping packs, which we're going to do in just a second, I want to thank all of you for uh, jumping in. Um, I was super happy to see a bunch of uh, people uh, sort of repeat customers, if you will, from the first Breakers Club. That tells me that uh, things are going well and you guys have enjoyed it. And I also want to welcome all the new people that are uh, joining in, including a bunch of people that found my uh, breaks from trading on uh, over on TCDB, the Trading Card Database. So with that said, uh, we've got a lot to open today, so I don't want to waste any more time. Let's jump right in with some of our, uh, well, let's jump in with the first two bonus packs. And for those of you that are new to my breaks, I do try to uh, include bonus packs in each break. Um, kind of hard to come by bonus packs these days, but I do have to give a special thanks to... Um, Rod Richards, who actually sent me a trade package not too long ago, a couple couple days ago now. Uh, I haven't got it posted on the blog yet, but he actually included some um, extra packs for me to use as bonus packs. So uh, special thanks to him, and there'll be some more variety coming up in uh, future future breaks. So 
With that said, uh, this is 89 tops, of course, classic design, but uh, who knows, you might get a, a gem mint card out of this. You never know. So we've got our White Sox, Ken Patterson, Dan Jackson for the Reds, Franklin Stubbs, Dodgers, Carmelo Martinez, Padres. I really actually like the 89 design a lot. Um, Blue Jays team leader card. It's just this is the set of my childhood, I think. This is the set that I have the most nostalgia towards, I would say, from when I was a little kid. Uh, Brooke Jacoby, Indians. Ron Karkovice, White Sox. I'm going to add card. Nelson Santavina, Expos. Dave Henderson, Athletics. Andres Thomas, Braves. Mackie Sasser, Mets. Ernie Witt, Blue Jays. Terry Clark, Angels. Philly Hatcher, or sorry, Mickey Hatcher, Dodgers. And Luis Polonia for the Athletics. So like I said, these are just to, to add to your stack. Get some extra cards, and every now and then a bonus pack produces something pretty cool, so you never know. Uh, the next is, uh, this is the 2006 top set, which couldn't be further from nostalgia for me. This was a set I was not really collecting in 2006. So it was a year out of college for me. Uh, I was in grad school, had no time for anything. So uh, this design is means nothing really to me, and in fact, most of these cards are going to be new to me, including this for your first Rather nice, Randy Johnson for the Yankees, Kip Wells for the Pirates, Eric Bedard, Orioles, another Oriole, Luis Matos, those bad junk cards, uh, Johnny Estrada for the Diamondbacks, and we finish with a Braves team card. So those are your bonus packs. Like I said, they'll just be added to, to uh, your respective stacks. Get those out of the way. And now we're ready to go uh, break proper. So we have a whole box of Upper Deck Victory. I'm going to start with those packs. Like I said, I'm going to do six a night. Um, spread across six nights because there are 36 packs in the box. And there's a lot of cards in each of these packs. And frankly, I didn't want to have to read that many from the same box uh, over and over <laughs> for however long it would take me to get through. So with that said, we begin with a Victory Rookie, Ben Petrick. For the Rockies, Javi Lopez for the Braves. Their cards are thicker than I was expecting. Gil Mesh for the Seattle Mariners. Jordan, I agree. Randy's a Yankee. I don't like it. Bob Howery, White Sox. Raul Mondesi, Blue Jays. Wilton Barris, Red Sox. Fernando Tatis for the Cardinals. This card design is kind of, kind of neat, kind of, uh, it's very 90s with the uh, the border. I think that was like a, a special effect that you could get on like, uh, not paint, but some of those other early uh, image editing software. Uh, I'm trying to remember the one I used, GIMP. That used to be what I would use uh, back when I dabbled in that. Jamie Moyer. We have a Bobby Abreu for the Phillies. I'm going all which way here. Padres get Matt Clement. Ryan Miner for the Orioles of a junior circuit card of Ken Griffey Jr. I believe the like gimmick to this is there's a Griffey card in each pack. I think that is true of this set, so expect to see a lot of Griffeys. Um, this is a uh, technically a junk card, an ad card, but it's got a Cardinal on it, so that will go to uh, – it's got Mark McGuire, in fact, so that will go to the Cardinals. And that one clearly features a Dodgers jersey, so that will go in the Dodgers stack. And that's how I'll distribute cards like that. Um, any other uh, just general break uh, stuff, if we pull cards that feature more than one player, um, if it's a base card, I'll just flip a coin or something when I'm sorting the cards out. I don't bother doing that on video. If it's a hit, obviously, I have dice that I can roll or um, to determine who will end up with that. So that's how we'll take care of multi. And if we pull anything... Any cards of players or people or anything else that is not one of the 30 major league teams, um, I will just randomize those at the end. So that's how we'll take care of that. With that being said, here's our next pack. Chad Hutchinson is the rookie in this pack for the Cardinals. Never heard of him. Eric Chavez. Wilton Guerrero for the Expos. Jeff Zimmerman Rangers. Garrett Anderson for the Angels. Tony Womack, Diamondbacks. Andy Ashby, Phillies, even though he's pictured as a Padre in that, but clearly team is Phillies there, and you can see it's the Phillies logo on the back. Ellis Burks, Giants. John Valentine, Red Sox. We've got a Victory Big Playmakers, Mo Vaughn of the Angels. 
It's just part of the base set, it looks like. Christian Guzman for the Twins. There's our junior circuit card here. Another Ken Griffey. Another Big Mac. And a Lou Gehrig Road jersey enter to win. So that will go in the Yankee stack. I actually really liked um, these. I remember buying some. I don't know. Or maybe it was even a victory. I don't know. But upper deck, these are real. Well, I always thought these were rather nice, um, kind of promotional contest cards. So I will definitely include those on team stacks. Jose Canseco for the Rays. Joe Mays, Twins. Brett Saberhagen, Red Sox. Rico Bronia, Phillies. Ricky Lede, Lede. Lede, Lede, I don't know. Uh, Yankees. Billy Coke, Blue Jays. Kurt Schilling, Phillies. Is Schilling going to get in the Hall of Fame? Tino for the Yankees. Ben Grieve, Athletics. We have a rookie of Brian Cooper for the Angels. Another rookie, Jorge Toca for the Mets. There's our junior circuit card. And, whoa. Big Mac number three, I believe. And we've got a Ty Cobb, Philadelphia A's jersey giveaway card. Three more packs. You can see how thick this is already. Lots of lots of Victor. We didn't want to do it all at once. At least I didn't think so. We start with a Rocky, Todd Helton. Pretty nice looking Helton card, actually. Big plays, Pedro Martinez. Roberto Hernandez for the Rays. There's a nice Cal Ripken for the Orioles. Someone should have claimed him. Actually, I don't. I, I actually have a small uh, PC for Ripken, so I don't mind when I'm stuck with the Orioles. Miguel Tejada Athletics. Jim Parquet White Sox. Another big play card. This is for Tony Gwynn. Padres. So there you go, Rod. Todd Walker. Twins. Uh, Rod Richards has the Padres. David, to answer your question. Darren Erstad, Angels. Luis Gonzalez, Diamondbacks. Red Sox stat leader, Garcia Par Nomar and Pedro. Uh, another Griffey. That's our, I think we've gotten the same one in each of the, must be just one, one of those cards in every pack, apparently. And Pee Wee Reese, Brooklyn Dodger jersey. All right, two more. Pokey Reese for the Reds. Uh, Calvin Murray, Giants. Bob Wickman, Brewers. Jim Tomei, Indians. Another rookie. This one's actually someone that became good. Alfonso Soriano for the Yankees. Jose Nieves, Cubs. We have a stat leader, Carlos Delgado and David Wells for the Blue Jays. Omar Vizquel, Indians. Royce Clayton, Rangers. Brian Bohannon for the Rockies. Rich Aurelia for the Giants. There's our Griffey. And there's the Big Mac card. And we have Don Drysdale, Dodger giveaway. Pull the chat up here so I can see it a little easier. Yeah, David Rod Richards has the uh, Padres. I think I said that already, but I'll repeat myself just in case. All right. Stat leader Mike Sweeney and Carlos Beltran for the Royals. Julio Ramirez, Marlins rookie. This pack's a little bit stickier than the other ones. Trot Nixon, Red Sox. Richie Saxon, Indians. Alex Fernandez, Marlins. Jeremy Burnitz for the Brew Crew. Let's separate that. There we go. Luis Castillo, Marlins. Carlos Lee for the White Sox. Greg Maddox, Braves. Todd Staldemeyer, Diamondbacks. There's your Griffey. There's our Big Mac. And another Dodger, Pee Wee Reese again. All right, so that's, uh, that's the first six packs out of this box. Like I said, there are 36 packs. You can see we get a lot of cards at once, so I think splitting that up will be will be for the best for everybody. 
Well, certainly not least myself. Okay, so we've got, like I said, we're going to open up most nights two, two or three boxes, I would say, try to fit everything in six or seven weeks. Um, I'm going to keep this for a second, I think. So let's start with the, because there's some autographs that we should be pulling out of that. So let's start with the with the uh, select box. Um, this is 1994 select. It was a hobby exclusive that year. And I don't know if I've ever opened a pack of this. And if I can't get this plastic crap off, I still may never open a pack of it. There we go. All right. So again, uh, thank you to everyone for jumping in the break. Certainly appreciate uh, all of you that claim teams make this work for everyone and because we were able to claim so many teams uh, we ended up with a ton of boxes so this is actually kind of cool i probably shouldn't cut through this but this is box number 22 out of 24 in case i cut right through it in case 100 i think it is or no 1008 maybe out of 4950 so there was slightly less than 5000 cases and this sticker, which my camera is not really picking up very well, the writing is really hard even, but it tells you what box it is in the case and what case it came from. So that's kind of cool. I wonder why they don't do that anymore. So here we go. We've got 12 cards per pack. And let's just pull the packs right out. And I can put this box off to the side to put the cards in. All right. So here we go. Good luck, everybody, with the box of 94 select. Of course, we're not looking for autographs uh, out of this product, uh, 94. A little too early to search for autos. But we should get some pretty cool cards. So Brian Anderson starts us off. Rookie prospect for the Angels. Howard Johnson. The Rockies. Paul Sorrento. Leo Gomez. Greg Vaughn. So I don't like immediately that they don't have the team on the front. Like they, there's no word where it actually says what team they, uh, they are for. I guess you just go by the jersey. Uh, Carlos Pulido. Another guy I never heard of. Jeff Granger. Greg Jeffries. Bobby Bow. He was getting paid by the Mets then. Still getting paid by the Mets. Brian Harper. And, oh, two more, I think. Uh, Terry Steinbach. And Eric Davis for the Tigers. I do like that you get two different images of the player. So that, that part's nice. Just don't like that there's not the team name. So these will be going to, uh, I guess, the team as pictured. Be the next best way to do that. So if it's got your team's jersey on, that's the stack it'll go in. So Rob Dibble, Reds. Deion Sanders, Reds. Rookie prospect of Denny Hawking. Mark Langston. The Dykstra Select Skills. Yeah, the pretty pretty rare um, for the time. This was a rare set, uh, pretty limited release com comparatively speaking. We've got uh, Andujar Cedeno, rookie prospect of Rich Rowland, rookie prospect of Carlos Polito. They do stick just a hair. Terry Tony Phillips for the Tigers, Julio Franco. The Aegis one, Kurt Gibson, Bill Swift, and Dennis Eckersley. And the cards do stick just a little bit. The damage seems to be minimal, but there is some sticking. Which, unfortunately, is going to be true of a lot of 90s product. Tony Fernandez for the Reds. Glenn Allen Hill for the Cubs. Roger Pavlik. 
Another rookie prospect, Roger Salkhead. He was like going to be so good there. It was a really popular pick there for a second, and then kind of just never really panned out, did he? Henry Rodriguez. Is that the guy that's in the the movie about the kid pitcher? That or something like that. I don't know. Carlos Polito again. Jeff Granger for the Royals. That was a nice Jim Tomei. I like the dugout shot. That was before those kind of images were cool. Dave Hansen, Kent Herbick, Greg McMichael, and Jeff Bagwell for Houston. Astros were one of the last clean teams this time around. Jody Reed, Pedro Munoz, Dwayne Ward, Cal Eldred, Spike Owen, rookie prospect of Jeff Juden. We have a checklist. American League checklist. Uh, Robbie Thompson, Delino DeShields, Jason Berry, Jose Vizcaino, and Shelly Davis. Nice action shot there. And that's what the back of the cards look like. Pretty sharp. Another image, different than the front images. So you got three pictures of each player per card. Yeah, not a ton of uh, not a ton of inserts. Um, the select the select MVP are one in three hundred and sixty packs, so pretty rare. The rookie of the year also. One in 360 packs and select skills are one in 24 packs. Oh, there's also power rookie surge, which are one in 48 packs. All right, Mark Newfield, Doug Drayback. Yeah, these are sharp cards, honestly. Like, I like it. I like the design. I like. I like how it looks. Chad Kruder, Mike Heineman. The only thing I don't like is there's no team listed. Eddie Murray, Melvin Nieves, Charles Johnson. I'm sure I'll be referencing baseball uh, or a trading card database for teams for some of these that might be a little bit hard to pick out. Not this one, but some cards. Brent Gates, Dave Henderson, Bit Robert sighting. All the bloggers out there. Bip was a popular fellow for a little while. There's a Chuck Finley with some missing foil. Looks like a start of a J over there. See that in the light? Kind of a weird shot of Finley, too. Almost looks like, I guess he's playing a, a, a guitar bat, bat guitar. Certainly looks like that's what he's mimicking. And Jose Offerman. All right, Kurt Manwaring, Mickey Tettleton, Mike Kelly, rookie prospect, Pete Smith, Orlando Merced, Sterling Hitchcock for the Yankees, rookie prospect, Melvin Nieves, Dean Palmer, Terry Mulholland, Mariano Duncan for the Phillies, I remember him being a red, Carlos Bayerga, and Craig Biggio. All right, next uh, next chunk here. Was dipping way back in 09? Was it really that long ago? Oh my goodness. Oh, what happened to to life? Dan Maselli, rookie. Jim Laritz, Yankees. That's, I mean, that's just such a clean card. I don't even like the Yankees, but it's a nice, just, I like it. Daryl Hamilton, Vince Coleman, BJ Serhoff. Again, you get like a lot of these candid shots. Gerald Williams, 
There's a National League checklist. Can't tell who's on the background. Looks like it's two different. I don't even know if it's like just generic players. There's no logo showing. Jeremy Burnitz, Jim Tome, Dave Hansen, Kent Herbeck, and Greg McMichael. Definitely going to get some duplicates out of this one. 2009 or 2010. You know, that feels like it was, I don't know, four or five years ago, not a decade ago. Ken Hill, Pedro Martinez for the Expos. Oh, that Pedro. Greg Colbrin, Will Clark, Steve Finley, National League Checklist. Rob Butler. So cards like the checklist, those will be randomly assigned at the end. Mike Moore, Gary Sheffield, Jeff Russell. Pete in Cavilia. He's not really batting because he's got the donut on his bat there. And Kenny Rogers. That pack didn't want to open nicely. Tony Tarasco. Rex Hudler. Felix Furman, Dennis Martinez, Kevin Seitzer. We have a skills select, Travis Fryman. Travis Fryman. Skills select going to the Detroit Tigers. I'll sleeve that right away since they are pretty rare. It's going in the Tigers pile. Travis Fryman, very shiny, like the clouds, kind of looks like he's just playing up in the sky or something. That is a hit, yes. Gerald Williams, Dave Valley, Otis Nixon, I mean, another fun card. I mean, this is a set that you collect for the set. You know, you're not collecting it because you want relics or autographs or, you know, chunks of bat or dirt or chewing gum. This is just a nice, nice set. Pat Listash, Albert Bell. I mean, look at that. Look at that Bell. And Doug Strange. That's not to say it wouldn't be cool if we pulled one of the rare inserts. Don't get me wrong. But, you know... When I'm trying to pick these boxes out for the for the Breakers Club, I generally try to find a few boxes that are kind of set collector geared, and, and I try to find ones that you know I think that most people don't have, um, and then other uh, other you know sets boxes I try to pick out are, are going to you know be more geared towards hits or things like that, and I think tonight's a perfect example. We've got Finest, which is definitely a hit product so to speak and we've got you know select which is most definitely not a hit product a hit centered product i should say todd benzinger rod beck brian anderson howard johnson for the rockies paul sorrento paul shuey jeff granger yeah, right now, who knows what, we, you know, you might be able to sell just some of these random cards for money. I don't know. Cards are ridiculous right now. Reggie Jefferson, Juan Gonzalez, Alan Trammell, Lou Frazier, and there's another Cal Ripken Jr. Should have claimed the Orioles. I mean, I took advantage of some of the buying crazies out there and sold some of my cards for way more than I would have ever paid for them, and certainly way more than I paid for them. Hector Carrasco, Rafael Palmero, Eduardo Perez, Rob Dibble, Deion Sanders, I think we had those back-to-back -back before, uh, Billy Taylor, Jeff Juden, Jeff Bagwell, Robbie Thompson, the Lionel de Shields, Jason Berry, Jose Vizcaino. So we're definitely going to get a lot of duplicates from this. I can tell you that based on the first half of the box. Wayne Kirby. Look at the dirt flying. I'm telling you. 
some great shots here. If you've never, I've never looked through this set, obviously. So for me, this is fun. David Segui, Armando Reynoso, Sid Fernandez, Tony Fernandez, Eddie Zambrano, rookie prospect there. Another rookie prospect, Roberto Pettigine, Lee Smith. I got his autograph when he pitched for the Reds for a little tiny bit. Happened to go to a game where he was signing when I was a kid. Eric Hansen. Unfortunately, it was in a ballpoint pen on one of my old baseball hats. So the autograph is all but gone now. Fred McGriff, Greg Jeffries, and Bobby Bowe. But in my heart, I know that I got it at one point in time. Oh, no, so fabulous, fantastic pickoff artist. I, I was not aware of that. Andy Bennis, Sandy Alamore Jr. Love catcher cards like that. Lou Whitaker, Chad Curtis, Benito Santiago. There's just a sea of Marlins. Maybe a school of Marlins. Melvin Nieves. Charlie Charles Johnson, rookie prospect. Robbie Thompson, Delano DeShields, Jason Barry, Jose Vizcaino, and Chili Davis. It's weird to not be looking for tons of parallels, too. I mean, there's such a difference between some of the old school sets and you know, the newer stuff. And that's why I don't do a lot of early 90s stuff. But when I saw this box for sale, I, I had to jump on it. Manuel Lee, Mark Kiefer, Tony Longmire for the Phillies. Spuds, Chris Sabo sighting. That's a keeper for me, and I'm glad these picture is an Oriole. Obviously, I'd rather be a red, but I do have a mini. He was my first favorite player. And before Barry Larkin was Chris Sabo. David Wells. Craig Perkle, Gerald Williams, Rene Aroka. No. Upper Deck did that um, sort of photography trick, if you will, but here it is in Select for a nice, nice very nice Barry Bonds. Pete Harnish, uh, Graham Lloyd, and Tim Belcher. Santiago wore number 09 to space the number so you could see even with his gear on. Hmm. Yeah, I'm a sucker for the multiple exposure shots. I agree. Fernando Vina, Mark Portugal, Ken Caminiti. I'm also a sucker for play at the plate shots, but you're not going to get too many of those anymore because you can't, can't have collisions at the plate. So you got to enjoy them on your old baseball cards. Darren Lewis, prospect of J.R. Phillips. Another prospect, Mark Aker. Never heard of him. Cecil Fielder, John Olerud, Gary Discarsinia, Brett Butler, and Shane Mack. John Burkett, Danny Tartable, Dan Wilson, more nice, a lot of great catcher shots in this one. Darren Jackson, there's Tim Salmon, wouldn't be a early or mid-90s box without a Tim Salmon sighting. Joey Hamilton, Keith Lockhart. I might as well just start a mini collection for Tim Salmon because I feel like I get so many of his cards and no one ever claims the Angels. John Jaha, Jack Morris, Kevin Brown, Juan Guzman, and Tom Henke. Someone's going to be sad, though, if I pull like a Mike Trout autograph out of something. I don't know if there are any Mike Trout autographs in any of the boxes I have in the Breakers Club, but if there are, you had your chance. Alex Fernandez, Sean Barry, Eddie Tobinsey, Steve Traxel. Omar Vizquel, J.R. Phillips again, Mark Aker again, oh, Rene Aroca, there's that Barry Bonds multiple exposure again, Pete Harnish, like I said, 
no shortage of duplicates appears Graham Lloyd and Tim Belcher with the little pylons. Do like the backs all the way around Aaron Seeley, David Hulse, Alan Watson, Luis Gonzalez. There we go. Signing autograph. Another. Type of image that I really like. Try to get that to focus a little bit better. It's like a spring training, probably. Daryl Kyle. Johnny Ruffin. Another checklist card. Dave Valley. Otis Nixon. Pat Listash. Albert Bell. And Doug Strange. Yeah. I'm sure that there are ways to get people to claim the angels, but you know, if I had a a box of uh, what was it, Tops Update, where with Trout's rookie card, I'm sure someone would claim them. But David Hulse was in the outfield when the Conseco head bounce happened. Adam, how do you know this? My goodness. I do not want to play baseball trivia against you. You would stomp me. Tim Salmon, Ken Hill, Pedro Martinez, Greg Colburn, Will Clark, National League Checklist. Yeah, these cards definitely bring back – the player names definitely bring back a lot of memories. I mean, the cards don't bring up memories for me because I never collected this set, but the player names, Carl Everett, classic, perfect example of that. Dave Henderson, look at that. Yeah, that was goofy guy. How happy he is. It's great. It's great. He'd be happier if he wasn't sticking to Bip Roberts on the backside. Chuck Finley playing the bat guitar again. Jose Offerman. And Cecil Fielder. You watch a lot of classic highlights. Read it. All right. I'm impressed. I mean, I'm not fact-checking you, so you could probably tell me about anything, and I probably believe you right now, but I am impressed. Rex Hudler, Felix Furman, Dennis Martinez, Kevin Seitzer, Roberto Kelly, Mark Aker. <laughs> we do all stick to Bip Roberts a little. Gerald Williams. Uh, ever since the whole bipping thing was a thing on the blog, um, uh, I've I actually I have set aside Rob, Biff Roberts cards. I just couldn't I couldn't bear to uh, give them up. Gary DeSarcina. I can't say his name. De Sarcina. I don't I don't know if I ever get it right. I say it differently every time. Brett Butler, Shane Mack, and Jeremy Burnett. Yeah, I have a small stack of uh, Biff cards that I just kind of. When I stumble across them, I just set them aside these days. I don't even really know why. Just just do. Alan Watson. Is that Luis Gonzalez again? That's one of my favorite cards I've seen this set. And there's a bunch of good ones. Daryl Kyle. Todd Benzinger. Rod Beck. Just looks like a closer, doesn't he? And I mean that with respect. Carl Everett. John Hudick. Pete Incavelia. Still some sticking happening. It's not terrible, but it's it's definitely present for some cards. Well, we had Lee Smith there. Kind of separate. There we go. Kenny Rogers, Eric Hansen, and Fred McGriff. I think I've called that one yet. Collation is not great. I will say that. Vince Coleman, BJ Serhoff, Hector Carrasco, Rafael Palmero. Eduardo Perez, Jeff Granger, John Hudick, Kenny Lofton, Ricky Henderson, a nice Ricky, Greg Gagne, Roger Clayton, and Travis Fryman. Uh, he didn't make many catches, huh? Steve Finley, Wayne Kirby, 
David Segui, Armando Reynoso, Sid Fernandez. Oh, look at that. We've got another select skills for the Mariners. Randy Johnson. That kind of just snuck up on us. You know, I'm just flying through the pack and so we ended up with two. Both playing baseball in the clouds. John Hudick. How many John Hudicks have I pulled? John Olerud. There's Gary DeSarcina again. Brett Butler. Shane Mack. And Jeremy Burnett. Uh, who has the Mariners this time? Let's see here. The Mariners. Zach. Zach Gibbons has the Mariners. So the... The uh, Randy will go to Zach. That's right. He is featured. Didn't age, a, didn't age at all, did he? So, well, let me pull it close to the camera. There we go. Looks pretty much the same. Got to give it to him. Man didn't age. Uh, I was able to meet Randy. I know I've... I've said this story before, certainly typed it before, but uh, he spoke at one of the Little League World Series breakfasts that I was able to go to because I live, I work in Williamsport, which is basically an hour south of where I live. Um, but Williamsport's where the Little League World Series is held every year. So they bring in a, usually a famous big leaguer and you come and they talk to the kids and hang out and stuff. And he, he happened to be the year I was able to go to the Little League breakfast and he spoke and I was able to get his autograph. So Seemed like a very nice guy, not at all what you would expect based on appearances. Um, very shy, painfully shy. He talked about that a bit. Anyways, Jeremy Baroa, John Doherty, Rich Becker, Harold Reynolds, Bo Jackson, a checklist, Billy Taylor, Jim Tomei, Dave Hansen, Kent Herbick, Greg McMichael, and our final card for this box is Jeff Bagwell. So that is your box of select. Obviously, two inserts, very uh, base card heavy set, but we've got uh, Travis Fryman for the Tigers and Randy Johnson for the Mariners. All right, let me put these off to the side. And we'll get to our last box for tonight. Yeah, poor Randy. He uh, he said that every time he's you know he speaks or anyone sees him or whatever, they always ask him. Always has to talk about the bird story, hitting the bird and stuff. So he just he incorporates it into his I guess all of his public appearances these days. I think I have that handy, actually. That's the the Randy Johnson when I got when I met him and he signed that. I and mean, look at his autograph. I mean, it's a beautiful card, and I was happy to get it on Ginter. So, as you know, I'm a big Allen and Ginter fan. So that's a kind of a neat personal treasure, just just to have. All right, so. Um, Top's finest. This is 2015. Um, inside the main box are two mini boxes. So that's what we actually get. Nothing else there. And inside each of the mini boxes is supposed to be an autograph. So that's what we're looking for here. Yeah, it's a great signature, isn't it? I was super lucky because he actually only signed for about five minutes. Um, and it was a room... This was pre-COVID, of course. This was a big room full of people, um, and I was able to, I was able to get an autograph. And he, I don't think he wanted to sign. I don't. I, I guess he really doesn't sign a lot. Although he is in the, I don't know. Actually, he, his relic is in. I don't know if he has an autograph in 2020 Ginter or not. Um, but I don't think he signs a lot. His his autograph is fairly rare, I believe. So, anyways. Uh, all right, so like I said, um, each mini box is 
uh, guarantees a Chrome autograph. Uh, we're supposed to get, I think, five cards. Yeah, five Chrome cards per pack. So that's what we're looking at here. And uh, just like the 94 Select, I know I've never opened a pack of Topps Finest. So once again, good luck to everybody. And I will uh, try to continue to do group break sort of recaps on my blog. Um, so depending on, you know, if we pull something that I don't know what it is in real time, I do try to look it up and, and try to figure it out for people. So with that said, here we go. We start off with a red, Joey Votto. Very nice. Very shiny. Facts are, I don't know, I guess they're okay. Nothing special there really, but kind of a nice shiny design. For the Orioles, Manny Machado. We have a finest first, Jorge Soler for the Cubs. Rookie card, that's not bad. Yeah, Votto, if, if you don't follow the Reds, Votto is a character in every sense of the word. Zach Wheeler for the Mets, pretty nice. And Buster Posey for the Giants. Votto is very interesting. If you ever hear him give an interview, he's 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 thoughtful, but he's also goofy, and I don't know. He's he's a he's certainly interesting. I think he'd be fascinating to sit down and talk to for a while. And he likes to mess with people and have fun. So, Howard Pujols for the Angels, Madison Bumgarner for the Giants. We have a Generations card of Stan Musial. Pretty nice looking for the Cardinals. We have a Daniel Corsina purple, numbered 101 out of 250. It's going to the Reds. Although, I'll be honest, I kind of wish it was going to one of you guys because I don't really care about, I never don't know anything about him really. And Anthony Rendon. I'll take it. I won't complain. I don't usually pull numbered Reds cards, so I shouldn't complain. Elvis Andrews for the Rangers. There's another Solaire. Rookie for the Cubs. We have a David Wright, top's finest. Kind of the old school finest look. Bryce Harper losing his helmet. And Matt Barnes, rookie for the Red Sox. Yeah, the Reds like to wear those green. Well, there is the speak of the devil. There he is again, his base card. Gregory Polanco for the Pirates. Max Scherzer, top's finest. There's our promised autograph. It's Dilson Herrera, rookie auto for the Mets. At least it's a guy I've heard of. You never know what you're going to get. That in a sleeve. I'll get in a top loader as well. But uh, Brett Allen has the Mets. Congratulations. Very nice. Really pretty signature, actually, with the number two there. Not numbered, but pretty signature. And for the Dodgers, Yasiel Puig. Let's see here. CC Sabathia. Another generations. Wade Boggs for the Red Sox. Steven Strasburg for the Nationals. Miguel Cabrera. Tigers. And Giancarlo Stanton for the Marlins. And one more pack out of this box. Clayton Kershaw for the Dodgers. Jose Altuve, Houston. Dilson Herrera, base rookie. Very pretty design. Michael Brantley for the Indians. And Jordano Ventura for the Royals. So that's your first mini box. Again, I'll pull the uh, autograph out here. And like I said, I, I will sleeve all, uh, pretty much all the inserts. I try to. 
Although I meant to order sleeves the last time I did a card box order and I forgot. So hopefully I have enough sleeves to get through the full break. I think I do. Yeah, the refractors are hard to hard for me to see in the light. Uh, yep. There's the Strasbourg again. It's not actually labeled on the back anywhere that I can see. But when I hold it just right, I can see the, the shimmer. This looks like little, I don't know, scales or something. And a regular card does not have that. So I'll try to pick out any others that I see. Again, when I'm trying to do the group break and the... Um, the, the sort of light box that I use here. Um, I found when I actually use the light box as a light box, it washes everything out too much. Okay, so here's box number two. And this will be the last for tonight. So once again, good luck to uh, everybody. We have a Eric Hosmer for the Royals. Troy Tulowitzki, Rockies. We have a finest Mike Trout. See, should have claimed the uh, angel, somebody. We have a blue Chase Utley. That's sharp looking. 56 out of 150 for the Phillies. Going to Dave. That's very sharp looking. I like that. I like that blue. See that in light there. Pretty, pretty card. And another Mike Trout. So this uh, box might have paid for the angel slot on its own. I don't know. Even Mike Trout base cards seem to sell for uh, pretty good money. Koji Uehara for the Red Sox. A Generations of Cal Ripken Jr. Well, I don't know if Night Owl is watching tonight, but uh, I always tell him I pull an awful lot of good Dodgers, and I don't think I'm letting him down here. Number out of 250, a purple Clayton Kershaw. Number 125 out of 250. So there you go, Greg. There's a nice sunny gray, who is now a red, but that one will be going to the athletics. And Corey Spangenberg, rookie card for the Padres. Yeah, the color parallels in this one are really nice. Too bad they're so rare. Julio Tehran for the Braves. Nelson Cruz, Starling Marte for Pittsburgh. Whoa. All right, Greg, there you go again. 35 out of 50 this time, a gold, Adrian Gonzalez. So Dodgers cleaning house here. And we've got a Michael Taylor rookie for the Nationals. This, uh, this mini box is a lot better than the other one in terms of getting colored parallels, too. Mike Fol Fol Fulton, Folded? Fol Fulty, Fulty. We'll go with Fulty. It's a rookie for the Braves. Fulton Navich, I think is how you say that. Christian Walker for the Orioles. Oh, there's our, there's our autograph, and that's actually a nice one. Josh Donaldson for the Blue Jays. The Toronto Blue Jays. And speak of the devil, Greg jumped in and claimed the Blue Jays. So not only did he have the Dodgers, but he also has the Blue Jays. So nice Josh Donaldson. Auto. Salvador Perez for the Royals. And Buck Farmer, rookie, for the Tigers. All right, Edwin Escobar. Our rookie cards in here. We have a Generations card, Cole Hamels. Michael Taylor. That is a refractor. You can see the shimmer there. Caught that one. Joe Maurer for the Twins. And Adrian Gonzalez, base card for the Badgers. 
and one pack left for this evening. We've got Matt Carpenter for St. Louis. Kerry said he was going to catch the replay, so there you go, Kerry. Kenny, Kenneth Vargas, Twins. CC Sabathia, Yankees. Justin Verlander, Tigers. And we close out with David Ortiz of the Red Sox. So that's, uh, that's the break for tonight. There's the auto out of that box. Nice couple of uh, colored parallels. We've got nice refractor, a couple of inserts, the blue Utley. Can't beat a Mike Trout. So, yeah, not bad, not bad at all. Uh, hopefully everyone's enjoying the start to the break. We have a long ways to go, a lot of boxes. Um, still waiting for the 2021 boxes to come in. I do not have those yet, but they have all been pre-ordered for uh, over a month now, I think. So um, uh, I think they'll be shipped all together because I put them all in the same order. Um, so I should be getting those soon. Uh, I think opening day is released. I think that's the one I'm waiting on. I think that's the last release date. So hopefully they'll be coming soon. Um, we will, uh, yeah, we'll keep going. I'm going to keep try to keep the Tuesday time slot each week. Uh, try to do two or three boxes each night along with we'll keep cranking through the uh, upper deck victory packs because there's just so many cards in that box. And yeah, so uh, once again, thanks to everybody. Thanks for hanging out tonight. Thanks for the trivia and the uh, good conversation. It makes it a lot more fun for me when I've got to, uh, I've got people playing along and adding to things. And David, I'm glad you like the Utley. Uh, that's a sharp, sharp looking card. You're going to like it in hand. I can assure you of that. So uh, yeah, it's the, the color, the colored parallels in this set are, I mean, even the, the gold is, is nice. Purple's great. But the blue, the blue is probably my favorite. And it's not the rarest. The gold is out of 50. The blue's out of 150. But it just has such a good shine to it. I would collect a set. You know, if I had lots of money, this would be like a fun parallel set to try to put together. It's really pretty. Or even like a mishmash parallel set where you just, you know, grab any any color for each base card would be kind of cool but that would probably be very expensive especially if you know trying to get mike trout and some of the stars uh we had one purple in here as well the first box didn't have as many colored parallels but yeah so there you go there you go <laughs> they just called it blue. Yeah. Well, to be fair, it is blue. I, I kind of prefer that, if I'm being honest, over like Dunruss will be like, you know, canary yellow and then, you know, rubber ducky yellow and then, I don't know, like fool's gold yellow. And you're like, well, I don't even know what any of those colors mean compared to the other ones. So I, I kind of prefer blue, green, gold. You know, that, that doesn't make it easier, honestly. But not as creative. I'll give you that. All right. Well, I'm going to call it a night. Thanks for watching. We'll have plenty more over the next uh, next few few weeks here. And, yeah, I'll be talking to you guys soon. Bye for now.